Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life and welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is going to be a special one because it is all about this full moon lunar eclipse in Sagittarius that is now upon us. In a little bit, I'm going to open it up for you guys to be able to choose a card so that you can get a more personalized message on what this eclipse has in store for you. But first, I just want to break down in general what this full moon lunar eclipse is all about and do a bit of an energy reading on it. So if you would like to skip to the pick a card reading, the timestamps are below. However, I would suggest that you don't and that you stay with me because your reading will make a lot more sense in the context of this information and understanding the eclipse. So May 26th at 7.13 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have a full moon lunar eclipse that is in the sign of Sagittarius. So because this is in Sagittarius, the full moon is in Sagittarius, this is going to affect the areas in your life that have to do with your beliefs, spirituality, anything to do with like education or knowledge, um, writing, teaching, and also connecting with your purpose and vision. Now, I wish that I could tell you guys that this eclipse is going to be so beautiful and so amazing, but it is actually going to be a very harsh energy, a very, very difficult time. I mean, it might affect some people more than others. It's funny because I was in, um, I'm in this group in Clubhouse, by the way, if any of you guys are in Clubhouse or using that app, uh, you can add me below. I would love to hang out with you guys, chat with you. I'm gonna start my own clubhouse room really soon. I'm so excited for it. Um, but I was talking to some people about this eclipse and one person gave this really, really beautiful example of this energy almost being like a wave, almost like in the context of being a surfer where if you can be in sync with the energy and you know kind of paddle and be able to stand up and turn and catch the wave you can ride the energy it can be useful to you or if you're not in sync with it you could fall and be plummeted and tumbled by the waves so i think all of us will be tumbled in some way by these aspects and if you're already starting to feel this heavy energy, I just want you to know that you're not alone. Like it's, it's definitely an intense time right now. It's a very emotional time. So let's talk a little bit more about this. Okay, so going back to your beliefs, your spirituality, um, you could find yourself at this time questioning what it is that you believe and it this could be something more broad as in um your beliefs overall about the world about uh your religion or um like about how you came to be here like the meaning of life like some of these bigger questions that could be like what's under the microscope for you or it could just be like little niche beliefs that you have um, in certain areas of your life. So you, maybe you've been really set with your beliefs overall or just in like a certain area of your life and you might find yourself questioning or uh, rethinking or re-examining your truth. Now this is gonna end up being a positive thing overall because you're gonna be able to get clarity and redefine some of these things for yourself but it can also be a little bit disorienting because we really do define ourselves a lot by our beliefs and when that's kind of shattered or you experience something that's contradicting that or you have a conversation with someone that like opens your mind to something else it can be like a little like humbling and confusing and so there's going to be some of that energy you're going to be maybe thinking about some of that um going back to education some of you guys might 
feel it at this point as if you need more knowledge in a certain area of your life. Perhaps you've been getting guidance that it's time for you to go on a new career path or learn something new or strengthen your talents and gifts. And so because of that, you're going to be wanting to educate yourself. So you could be like seeking knowledge, whether that's through conversation or through a mentor or a teacher or a guide or through some books or perhaps thinking about traditional education, going back to school. Uh, signing up for a program, you could find yourself desiring um, like a new like a new path or wanting to learn something new, wanting to soak up knowledge, wanting to soak up information. Um, some of you guys might be called to teach at this time. You might find yourself feeling like I just have a lot to say. I want to speak. I want to guide others. Um, maybe some of you guys are in the process of getting your credential to actually teach in a school or a, a situation like that. Some of It's like this energy of the student becomes the master or the student becomes the teacher. Um, connecting with your vision and purpose. There will be more clarity coming into this area of your life and your purpose in life is really whatever you define it to be. That is what is so beautiful about this life and about this experience. You get to be the one that decides that. So I do feel this energy of like liberation coming in where you feel like you can choose what it is you want to focus on or what your intention overall in your life is going to be or like what your purpose is versus waiting for it to just hit you in the face. You, you might discover that within yourself during this time. Expect blockages to come up during this time. <laughs> Um, any area in your life that is blocked, anything that is preventing you from moving forward in any area of your life is going to be made apparent. And these will be themes that have probably been coming up through the full moons of the past year or two, because this is a full moon and the eclipse just kind of heightens that energy. And the full moon is usually a time where you want to surrender and release blockages. And there can be a little bit of drama sometimes in your life around this time. And so just expect that to be heightened. Whatever it is that's coming up right now, whatever it is that's coming across your path, whether it's emotional or something in a relationship or with your career or your finances or your living situation, whatever it is, like that's the area of your life that, that needs to be re-examined, um, that needs the blockage needs to be cleared. So this is a heavy purification energy. Some of you guys who've like gone through spiritual awakening, been through the dark night of the soul, you might feel during the next two weeks as if you're going back into the dark night of the soul. You might be like, I thought I was out of this. I thought I was done with this. And um, you are, it's just like, just a little revisit or a little reset to make sure like you're really ready to move forward. Um, there is a very mystical energy to this eclipse. Um, secrets will be revealed. Anything that has been hidden from you uh, will be revealed at this time. Now, not everything, basically on a need to know basis, but you will be shocked with surprising revelations. This could be other people confessing things to you. This could be you real, like realizing some type of hidden truth or hidden aspect. This could be like on a global level, but the, there is an energy of like the truth will be revealed. In that aspect, it does kind of remind me a little bit of like a Scorpio type of energy. Because Scorpios and that energy, it's always looking for the truth. It's always wanting to reveal things that are hidden. Um, you might find yourself searching for answers or searching for the truth at this time. Um, yes, the secrets will come out. Things will be revealed. There could be shocking revelations. Um, Going back to the belief spirituality, um, at this time you will be called to let go of beliefs that are outdated and not useful. For instance, a belief I used to hold was, um, you know, because I was born into this level of poverty, 
because I only have this type of education, because I've been through these situations in my life, I've had these circumstances around me because I live in this place, because of this job I have, then I can only amount to this in my life or the, this is the only option that's available to me. I found myself literally stuck in a job for 13 years because I just thought that I've come so far, this is all I can do, like, I'm stuck here, like that's it, there's nothing else out there for me. And uh, I've talked about it a lot on the channel because that was something I overcame in my life that I'm really proud of, realizing, you know what, I have the power to create my life. I have the power to live whatever type of life or lifestyle that suits me. I can manifest and draw abundance into my life through my gifts and through my talents and through my hard work and my efforts. I can find many ways to educate myself and learn the things I need to learn. I don't have to be limited by my disabilities, by my circumstances, by what I've been through. And so that's like something I redefined for myself just as an example. So maybe you'll find yourself redefining some of your beliefs at this time and letting go of ones that just don't serve you anymore and that just really are not true for you or are holding you back. Um, You'll find yourself opening to different viewpoints during this time. Maybe you usually take a certain stance or a certain opinion, but you might find yourself listening to like the other side and finding yourself understanding uh, more. There is definitely an energy of compassion, I feel, with this eclipse as well. Um, one thing I will say is prepare to be humbled. There is a humbling aspect uh, the universe is just getting ready to kick your ass, basically. <laughs> so get ready to get your ass kicked. Get ready to be humbled. Go into this energy with like, you know what, universe? Like, send me what you need to send me. Teach me what you need to teach me. Humble my ass. I'm ready for this. Let's do this. Whatever's blocking me, I'm ready to see it. I don't want to run from it anymore. Let's do this. <laughs> um... There's also an aspect uh, of this full moon lunar eclipse that I'm gonna call a relationship detox. People are gonna be getting very salty during this time because there will be a high level of resistance to this energy. Like not everybody is gonna be able to go into this eclipse with that perspective I just mentioned of humble me, I'm ready for this, let's do this, I'm gonna let go of what no longer serves me whatever even if it's painful even if it hurts even if it's scary i'm gonna open to this because i know it's for my greatest good so not not everybody's gonna walk into it with that energy a lot of people will be seeking conflict like sometimes when there is conflict inside of us it's hard to sit with that energy so like we'll take it to another person and so you could find people being very salty um set boundaries during this full moon lunar eclipse. This eclipse is gonna ask you to examine your boundaries. If there's anybody in your life that is vampiring your, vampiring your energy, is too clingy or dependent on you in an unhealthy way, if there's anyone who is like using you as an emotional crutch, if there's anyone who has been like abusing you or treating you poorly, that is going to be made very apparent and you're gonna be called to like set boundaries, say no, um, take a break from that connection, maybe limit your interaction with them, maybe even literally uh, end the relationship. I've been hearing this from a lot of clients lately. There's been a lot of breakups. Um, a lot of people have been breaking up and just being like, you know what? This relationship's over. So if your relationship needs to end, it will be made apparent. I wouldn't be afraid if you're having relationship struggles right now because that could be good because once again, you're probably just clearing blockages. It can make the relationship stronger. But if it needs to end and you need to walk away, that will be made clear now within the next two weeks. Like it's gonna get bad. So just prepare for that. If you're one of those people who's been wanting to leave your relationship or you know it's unhealthy or toxic, then um, <laughs> you might not last the next two weeks. You might just like pack your stuff up and go or just be like, we're done. So just prepare because, you know, I mean, everyone's like on their own path. Maybe that won't resonate with everybody, but I think there's some of you guys who are watching who, 
who are going to be affected by this eclipse in that way. Um, and I'm seeing the breakdown of a lot of long-term relationships, a lot of people who've been hanging on for a dear life in a connection that's not for them anymore. Maybe just because you're afraid to leave or because you have your life tied up with the person or because um, you are afraid to be alone, like you're gonna be able to, to cut that cord. The, the full, this, this energy will quite literally force it to happen if it needs to happen. And this isn't just for romantic relationships, this is for friendships too. You know, maybe there's times where we outgrow people. This is something I wish I could have like known in my 20s. I'd say this is the biggest lesson I learned in my 20s is that as we go through life, sometimes we do outgrow people. Maybe you can think of it almost as like we have soul contracts that people are going to come into our life for a certain amount of time, teach us certain lessons, bring us certain blessings or not. <laughs> and at a certain point, we know when it's time to walk away from the connection. And that can be difficult. Sometimes the, the connection will end in drama, which the eclipse will definitely bring up. But sometimes it also just kind of fizzles out. And so you might feel that fizzling out. You might realize you know that person I haven't talked to in a long, long time that I have a bad taste in my mouth about? I just, I don't think, I, I think I might just remove them from my social media or I think I might just lose their number or something. <laughs> Another thing that you should avoid during this time is do not manifest with this full moon. And we have a new moon in two weeks and there's another eclipse then, which I will talk about uh, in, in a couple weeks, uh, but this is not a time to manifest. So um, I would not set any, I mean, if you're gonna set intentions or anything, maybe just like make them to like take good care of yourself or flow through this energy. It just might not even be necessary. This full moon is gonna take effect. It's gonna affect you the way it needs to. Just open up and welcome the experience. I would not man, I would not recommend manifesting with this full moon or with the next new moon. It's just not a good idea. And if you've already set intentions and you've been manifesting, I know I have that manifest with me series on the channel. Um, if you feel like you need to continue taking guided action towards some of your manifestations, especially if remember I, we talked about do what you said you would do and like following through, that's great. But if you just need to take a break and, and just kind of be in your body and self-care and just take a break from that hustle right now, that is totally fine. The energy is very much in sync with that. Expect, once again, sudden changes, shocking revelations and drama. Um, what will help you during this time is to greet this energy of the full moon lunar eclipse with an energy of enthusiasm and uh, spontaneousness like be or spontaneity be open um be excited this will end up being good for you overall like the universe never like sends you an energy like this if there isn't a blessing in it the energy behind this is love all is love this is time for you to level up in your life if you've been shrinking back from your purpose hiding your talents and gifts and um, hiding from life, this full moon is gonna force you out into the light. <laughs> it's time to level up. Um, the last point I wanna make is that at the time of the eclipse, the sun and the moon square Jupiter. So this even more so heightens intensity and emotions. I would recommend to unplug, um, take a bath, yoga, meditate, go on a walk, read a book. Just, I wouldn't listen to any podcasts or information or the news or politics or anything that is intense. I wouldn't talk to anybody that's difficult. You might just wanna literally turn off your phone. And by the way, electronics are gonna be acting crazy during this time. Um, like my phone has been glitching so much, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, you're just going to want to sit back and let the energies do their work. So now I'm excited to share with you guys this reading I have in store for you. So here is the spread, okay, for the pick a card reading. First, we're going to look into what needs to be released. Then we'll pull some cards for your self-care, like what kind of self-care could help you uh, and smooth out this process for you. And then we're going to ask for some wisdom from the shadows. So if you're interested in receiving this reading, all you have to do is choose a card. 
number one, number two, or number three. Once you have chosen, head down to the comments below where the timestamps are posted. They're also posted in the description and you can just click on your timestamp and instantly be fast forwarded to your part in the reading. And I will see you soon. For those of you guys who choose number one, what needs to be released with this full moon lunar eclipse? And I'm getting cut the cords. Okay, so this to me is definitely relationships. Um, we have like energetic, uh, like ethereal cords um, that connect with others. Like the longer we're in a relationship, the more that we connect with someone, we like form an energetic bond with them. And so it's possible that sometimes you have a breakup or you leave a relationship behind, but there's still like energetic cords that are between you and that person. And so that's why it's extremely important to do something symbolically or visually to actually cut the cords. So what do I mean by cutting the cords? Cutting the cords is kind of like putting the energy out or saying like, I no longer allow you and your energy to hold me back in lower energies of shame, doubt, fear, anxiety, guilt. It's, it's basically saying, you know what, I no longer take responsibility for you and the way that you see me. Because that's the hard thing is that a lot of times in difficult relationships, the hardest thing is feeling like we're misunderstood. Because you probably are somebody who is like an empath, who's sensitive, who has like really good intentions. And for some reason, this person or these people were committed to seeing you in like a negative light, like putting energy onto you that you were being a bad friend or you weren't doing the right thing or something like that. And it's like, no matter what you do, you can't, you're having a hard time proving to them like that you had good intentions, that you didn't mean to do that. Like they're seeing you in the wrong way and you just want to shake them and be like, that's not me. The way that you see me, that's not who I am. And so cutting the cords is like no longer taking responsibility for that. Being like, you know what, if you want to see me that way, if you want to have that perception of what happened or what went down in this relationship, that's on you. That's not on me anymore. I wipe my hands clean, you know? And so something I would suggest that you do, and if you've watched my channel for a while, you've heard me uh, talk about this healing technique is I would write a letter to this person or to these people. Now, don't send the letter because that's going to cause a lot of drama. <laughs> this letter is for you and for your healing. Write a letter. Tell this person exactly how you feel. And, you know, don't, you don't, don't feel like you have to be all love and light. You can cuss them out. You can say nasty things. You can be mad. You can be sad. You can speak of things you regret. You can apologize if you need to. You can get mad and be like, you know, I deserve an apology. Like, you say what you never got to say because a lot of times... The cords aren't cut because we feel like we haven't gotten closure or we're like we feel like we've been misunderstood. So this is your chance to open up and explain yourself. And this energy really does take place in the in the 5D. And so after you're done writing that letter, burn it or rip it up and throw it away. And that is cutting the cords. That's a way to cut the cords. Um, if you're lazy like me, a lot of times what I do is I just open up a note on my phone and I type it all out on my phone and then I delete the note. And that's like cutting the cords. You can also do a meditation where you imagine this person sitting in front of you um, and you speak everything you need to say to them. It's like writing the letter, but you're actually talking to them in your mind's eye, um, you know, in the astral realm or in meditation. And then you can imagine like yourself or perhaps Archangel Michael cutting the energetic cords that link you to this person. You can just imagine the cords that go from like your belly to theirs and just like cut the cords. So that's something you need to release. And this might be stuff from a long time ago. This could be the person that bullied you when you're in third grade. This could be your ex three exes ago, you know, three ex-boyfriends ago. <laughs> this could be a friend you haven't talked to in years. This could be someone that you are trying to release in your life now, but you're having trouble with it. That could be something that could really, really help. That's what wants to be released. So 
now let's get some messages for you about self-care. How can you, you know, really care for yourself, nurture yourself through this these harsher energies? And of course, just follow your inner guidance with that, but we'll see if we got any tips from the cards. Okay, so I'm getting a message about building strength. Um, literally, this is a message about your physical body. I feel like I've been getting a lot more messages that have to do with the physical body lately. It must have something to do with this energy. Your body, your muscles are craving strengthening, strength training, conditioning. So this might literally be a message for you to lift weights or um, you don't even have to lift weights, you can use your own body weight. You can use yoga or, or Pilates if you need to do something gentle. And I know everybody's body is different. I, I used to be a personal trainer and I worked with people who had uh, like disabilities and, and limited uh, uh, movements. And um, you know, there's, I just know no matter what situation you're in with your physical body, there's always something you can do. I, you know, I've seen people who are in wheelchairs be able to get in a pool and, 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 and do some work. Um, you can do it. <laughs> um, there's a message about, yeah, building some muscle, basically, building, strengthening your body, conditioning your body, because we store sometimes trauma and pain in our muscles. And so if anything, maybe stretch, because I also see strength is like, your body getting stronger isn't always building muscle, it could be flexibility. And so I just see deep breathing. I think that's another thing when you're lifting weights or you're doing strength training with your body, you, even if you're just using your own body weight against yourself, um, you're having to breathe deep and like push energy out. And so it's, it's just like a full body clearing. So that's something that wants to happen. I mean, of course rest and you're gonna feel really tired, but your body, this might be something to incorporate or really go hard at um, you know, over the next couple of weeks. So the final message is wisdom from the shadows. And I would actually like to simply read to you from this deck and then I'll kind of sound off on it. You got two messages, the hummingbird reversed. Um, I think this is a message that it might appear over the next Few couple weeks as if there's no joy in your life as if the joy or the spark or the bliss is leaving um, and that's not the case sometimes we have to journey into the shadows and shine a light on that in order to elevate ourselves to a higher ability to be able to, to feel uh, to more happiness more pleasure more enjoyment in life so there there's this message that nothing's being taken from you everything's being given to you even if it doesn't appear like that right now so you're getting the Raven card, such a beautiful card. And the message is, I am Raven. I am the deep magic from the North and the ancient connection between you and the immortal. I am proof that your world is changing. You are missing the hidden threads that bind your experience. There are great things at work. There are manifestations at your feet. I want to help you see the magic and teach you how to use it. I am the bird that transports you from one realm to the next. I am the portal granting you access from the solid grounds of the earth. I am that which appears from nothing. There is no greater power than your own will to sustain your vision. When you see me coming down from the lonely mountainside, it is time to take the rain. I may appear only once, so grab the chance when you see it. Take your whims and ground them. Take your futility and shatter it to pieces. Stop accepting the chaos around you. Stop allowing your energy to dissipate and give it form and substance. Ooh, oh my goodness. You're getting roasted today. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm very, really familiar with this, the Raven, because I have a Raven card here in the Wildwood deck. We're not gonna go a reading without mentioning my Wildwood deck, right? <laughs> um, the Raven 
when the raven appears, it's a message of synchronicity and it, it is kind of like a quantum leap energy. So go back and watch my last reading where I talk about like a quantum leap and what that is. That could be helpful, but that's what you're entering into. So I'm getting this message that everything in your life right now is not what it appears to be. So do not judge it. Like energy is shaping and shifting and transforming behind the scenes to bring you what you've asked for. This is a bird of manifestation. And so just kind of chill while you wait for the dust to settle. Um, you're not really being asked to do anything right now. We got the message about strengthening, but I just getting this message. Don't judge what's going on right now. The, the last thing that this hints at is I get this card a lot for people who have really amazing ideas, but just like don't do anything about it. And you might be that person where you feel like you're talented at so many things. You're like a connoisseur of ideas. You look at other people and you help them with ideas. You tell them, oh my gosh, you should do this or you should do that. Or here's a really great way to do this. Or like, have you ever thought about this? But when it comes to you, it's like you're not practicing what you preach. You're not taking the action. So the energy of the next two weeks is going to quite literally force you into action. And that's why you're getting this message. Grab the chance when you see it, because there could literally be like a very physical opportunity coming into your life. And it might almost feel like I'm not ready for this yet. Like, I, I, I don't know if I can do this or I don't have enough money for this or like this is too fast, too sudden, but I'm getting this message. Just jump on it. And I know I'm giving, I gave advice in the beginning of this reading, don't start anything new, don't start any new projects, um, don't make any new, new decisions. But to me, this feels like something that's been manifesting for a while. It's something you kind of already intended on. So it just, it's appearing in a way that's a lot different than you thought or you were trying to manifest it in. So just know something good is right around the corner. It's gonna be a risk, but it's all for you. So I hope that this message resonates. Thank you again for coming to my channel. Does this resonate with you? How is this eclipse affecting you? I'd love to have a conversation about it below. So just let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. Peace out. For those of you guys who choose number two, let's get your message. Uh, the first card which you chose is what needs to be released with this full moon eclipse? Because you're definitely going to be called to release some things. Wow. Go in your childhood. I'm getting this message that in order to survive when you were a child, you had to kind of put a mask on like I see you as a child that was very wise above your years very talented um, and really smart and a lot of the adults around you could not handle that so you kind of had to like dumb yourself down and kind of hide the and and it almost manifested as like a shyness, like you were kind of shy, um, withdrawn. But the truth was, was you have so much bursting out of you, so much to say. So you've carried a little bit of this into your adult years to the extent to where there could be some insecurities. You could feel sometimes as if you're like too much for people. And so I'm just getting this message to go into childhood. Ask yourself where this is coming from clear that energy. That is definitely what needs to be released. I'm also getting another message um, for some of you guys who are really working on discovering your talents and gifts and like really defining your purpose in life. Um, maybe even with career path um, or just how you want to spend your time in this life. Uh, there are um, certain things that you gravitated towards when you were a child that you might have forgotten about. Like something I recently connected with just to share is uh, beading. I love beading. And I'm remembering when I was little that I actually had a bead kit and I was making all these little like beaded animals and things, but like I made a mess with my beads. I wasn't able to get any more. It just like, I'm not sure if like my, my mom was like okay with the beads or something. I, th I think I vaguely remember it being just like a mess and me not keeping it organized well and it just kind of falling out of my life. And it's just been such a beautiful thing to reconnect with. And like, I totally forgot about that. And so you might want to spend some time in meditation, like connecting with your inner child. Um, 
I would suggest just um, like imagining yourself like in your childhood bedroom and like sitting across from your child yourself your child version of you and just like kind of watch and observe and like almost like you're babysitting your inner child or your your child self and just see like what activities you're drawn to or what little things your inner child wants to show you um, there's things you've forgotten about this is something to journal about it's almost like you might need to release this idea that you already know everything about yourself there's some things that have been forgotten and that kind of goes along with the theme of this uh, full moon lunar eclipse of like secrets being revealed or things that are hidden coming to light this might have been hidden from you for a while but you're gonna reconnect with this um, so yeah let's move on now to self-care uh, how can you best care for yourself during this transition, during this intense energy? Of course, just follow your inner guidance, but are there any tips for you coming through the cards? Your guides want to connect with you. Your guides, your angels, your ancestors. This is so personal for each person. Maybe you're someone who like literally believes in spirit guides. Maybe you're somebody who's very connected on a specific spiritual path. Like you really are into Jesus or you believe a certain religion or you're into the angels. Um, maybe you find yourself wanting to explore more of your roots and looking up your ancestors and like researching things about your ancestors during this time. It's like you need to get back to your spiritual roots, your ancestral roots or connect with your guides. You can do this in so many ways. I've already mentioned meditation. In fact, on my channel, actually, if you just go on YouTube and type in rainbow harmony spirit guide meditation, my spirit guide meditation will come up. It's 18 minutes long, but it's a trip because it only feels like it's five minutes. It's really enjoyable. In the beginning, there's an energy clearing. So it's like a little bonus energy Reiki clearing. And then you get to talk and chat with your spirit guide. And I guide you through the experience. It's fun. Your spirit guide gives you a gift. So you get like a present. It's like, it's amazing. So try that meditation if you're like, huh, I wanna see what this is about. I wanna connect with my guides or I just wanna connect with my inner self, however you see it. Um, but I do kind of get that, that message. Um, you could set up an altar perhaps for like one of your guides or just for your ancestors or something. Um, I'm just getting like, that's part of self care is making sure that you're tending to your spiritual side. That might be something you wanna think more about during this time. Now the final message we're going to pull from this deck. We're going to ask for some wisdom from the shadows. And I'm actually going to read to you and, um, and sound off on this card here, okay? You got the chickadee. Oh, I love this card so much. I haven't seen this one in so long. I am Chickadee, the discernment of right action. I am pure thought and fearless truth. I am the resolution to assert myself and express myself. I am undaunted curiosity. Everyone has a plan to fulfill and I am the beacon to help carry it out. Not every destiny is grand. Not everyone can make the headlines. Each of us, though, carries something or someone along just by presence. You need to pay more attention. You are forgetting your irreplaceable role. I am everywhere because I am curious to see the world play out. I watch to see how things work. I observe and find a way in. I do what my nature insists that I do and savor my unique imprint. It is time to let your actions do the talking and finish what you have started. Oh my gosh, you, that message resonates so much with what we were talking about in the beginning, like during the, the kind of DL on this full moon lunar eclipse when I said, do what you said you would do, follow through. This is very much a message about that, about following through. I think this echoes this card right here really well with... Um, the go in your childhood. Um, the one thing I really see standing out here for you, I feel like the real takeaway or the real wisdom from the shadows is you carry 
something or someone along just by your presence. I feel like this is a message not to forget that you do play an important role here. You're here for a reason. No one can tell you what that reason is. Not even someone like me who can do energy readings or whatever. Like only you can define what that is. But it seems like during this time, some of that is going to be made more apparent to you. So I hope that this message resonates with you. I'd love to have a conversation below about how this eclipse is affecting you. So just let me know if you have anything to say in the comments and I will see you next time. Peace out. For those of you guys who choose number three, let's go ahead and get your message. So we're looking into the card that you pulled first um, and that is what needs to be released during this full moon lunar eclipse. It is time to open up. Wow, such a simple phrase, but it has so much depth behind it. What I'm seeing needs to be released here is you hiding. And it's like you've been hiding from life for a while. And I'm not trying to call you out or roast you here. This is kind of one of those readings where we're going to roast you a little bit, but um, we do this sometimes and I don't feel like you're hiding from life or shrinking back because you're lost or confused. I actually think you have a lot to say and, and you have a story to tell and your guides are saying it's time to open up. You might be scared to tell your story or to speak your truth or to speak out or to tell someone how you feel. And they're saying it's time. It's time to tell that person how you feel or it's time to tell your story or it's time to speak your truth, or it's time to let the world see who you are. Those are some messages I'm getting here. It's time to release the hiding. Like, it's almost like you've been afraid of how you're going to be received, but, but don't forget that when you open up, you give permission for other people to do the same. You pave the road for other people to do the same. It's you help others in the process. It's not just for you. It's for everyone involved in your experience. So this is a gift that you can give to yourself and others. So do it. What are you waiting for? <laughs> um, next, we're going to look into self care. How can you best care for yourself during this crazy energy transition? Of course, you need to follow your inner guidance and just do what's best for you. But are there any tips for you? Anything specific? Let's see. Well, first they're saying, you know, of course, to believe in yourself. Um, I see this message too, that like you're going to be going through a lot of purification. This might just be a little message of hope um that you're going through this for a reason it's not just in vain this is air like connect with the element of air this might be opening your windows and airing out your place um going somewhere that's out in nature and just taking deep breaths maybe you can try some breathing like yogic breathing or maybe the wim hof breathing method or something like that to work with your breath um anything that gets you breathing, maybe exercise. But this, I also have this vision of you like going up somewhere high, whether it's like the rooftop of a high building or it's climbing like a little hill or not on a hike and just being up somewhere high where you can get that bird's eye view and get that perspective and take some deep breaths. It makes me wonder when was the last time that you were up high looking down on everything? You know, if you can do this in nature, that would be amazing. But this is something your body, your spirit is just calling out for. Um, I also see flexibility. I think this has to do with the body. I've been getting so many messages about the physical body lately, you guys. This is telling you time to work on your flexibility. And you know, you'd be surprised just how far you can come with this. I personally started working on my flexibility like four or five years ago. And like, I can do some crazy things on my body now that I never thought were possible. Like. I, yeah, it's amazing. You really can get more flexible. And so this is a message for you about getting that yoga on, getting that yoga on. Okay, getting some stretching going, breathing. This goes with the breath, the air. It kind of all goes together. So I wonder how that resonates with you. 
And for your final message, I'm actually going to read to you from this deck and kind of sound off from it. Um, we're asking for some wisdom from the shadows. And then you got the seagull. Beautiful card. Okay. Let's read this one. I am Seagull, master of the sea. I am legend on the waters. I am ghost bird. I am the one who haunts those adrift in the storm. I have the ways to maintain my bold position and defend a scavenger lifestyle. I take what I want as my survival depends on it. If you want my advice, learn to take what is given while it's there. There's always treasure where nobody looks. There are always paths no one has trod upon. Seek them out and make them your own. I am resource and plenty. Expand your horizons. I am the guardian of the open shores. Look further out to sea. The ships may be heading in your direction. Competition is wild, but your instincts are king. I immediately got a message about your career with this one. For me, this is a message about finding home. Um, I kind of feel like at this point in your life, maybe you're feeling a little bit like a drifter. You're not sure where you're supposed to go. Maybe quite physically, literally. Um, you might not be on a traditional path with the way that you make your money. You're going to have to really rely on your innate talents and gifts. Um, study. You might not even find a mentor. This might all just be inner knowledge. You're going to have to simply empower yourself to do this job. Um, you're going to be on a path maybe not a lot of people have been on. Um, you're being told that money will come that the universe has a soft spot for artists for dreamers and for drifters <laughs> you might have to get a little thrifty with it for a while in order to make this path work but it's going to be well worth it i hope that this message resonates with you i would really love to hear and have a conversation in the comments below about how this eclipse is affecting you i'm just curious Thank you so much for coming to my channel, and I will see you next time. Peace out.